Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Seth. In our last episode, we were able to successfully dock our science um, a science lab to Gagarin Station, 110 kilometers above the surface of Kerbin. And we pretty much realized that we are not going to have enough power to be able to run that. So I think what we're going to need to do is firstly look at getting a new some sort of power truss module section into orbit to connect to Gagarin Station. The other thing we also need to look at doing is getting some more nitrogen up there just to refill the Otter crew cabin that we were testing with, mucking around with basically when we disabled the habitat and re-enabled it. So let's have a look here. Uh, okay, so what we might do, let's just have a look here. Yep, is essentially, I really do like this new launcher section that we have. Titania, OPQRST. I spell goodly. The Titania 03. Call this Titania 04. Because essentially, this section here is crazy powerful. Actually, the other thing we need to do is get up a some kind of fuel tank so that we are not wasting excess fuel. Um, but I think probably, honestly, power is going to be our first concern. So let's get this section off there. Let me actually undo that. So it's just going to look at the mass quickly. So it's 81 tons. When I remove this, 75, so it's about 6 tonne to orbit. So we've got about six tons to play with. Just delete the bearing for the time being. Um, probably can't do much or size-wise. I, mean, I probably could. Uh, so we need to look at designing basically power. Now our only solar panels. We've got some solar panels. Oh, we can always chuck in. I'm not quite sure how any of that stuff works just yet. But it's basically that, the 3 by 2s um, So I think we're going to have... It's pretty ugly, that part, isn't it? However, it might be... That one looks a little bit better. I don't mind that. So if we can have a couple of those. And put the actual solar panels out. This one's here. They are gonna open up. Open up that way. Not sure how that's going to work, or is that that way better? I don't know, can't make a decision. See, it's because we will still want to dock things to that, so we'll need those docking ports available. We only get four of these on, basically. Let's just see where we can line these up to. Uh, about there, so that gives us...
So that gives us that. They're roughly even. Um. Kind of, it's kind of even, and then maybe even five, six, seven. Can we fit around there? Actually, that might be helpful. Uh probably let's try eight first. Tracked. Uh it actually. Is it going to clip when it extends? I don't think it is. I mean, heck, that might work. I wish I could extend it in slow motion. That could be the answer right there. Okay, so how am I height wise? I'm just on the bottom, probably want to pull that in. Come on. Just there. That then needs to go up a little bit. Of course, I've got it crooked. Not quite. Last go. Yeah, what that'll do. Um, and this one here, yeah, should be right. Smack bang in the middle there. So, not doing this manually, let's action group that. Extend, extend, extend. So, retract, retract, and retract. So, that should give us some power. Okay, and that's tiny, that's just really not that much mass, so honestly. Um still we're we're not gonna have that much weight in this craft at this stage. So let's come back to this. Uh I am a little bit concerned at what I'm about to do because it's going to get to the stage where we're not capable of controlling this because it's going to be such a large craft. Um, because what I'm thinking about doing is putting on fuel tanks that we were talking about. I mean, that right there is more mass than... Yeah, okay. I don't think that's going to work. That's what? Two and a half tons. That's... Uh, it might work. It's kind of that. This goes on top, then you have a look at even with the fairing. Ah, oh, might be okay. Got nothing to control that upper stage with, so docking is going to be very difficult. It's going to be very hard to control, so I'd probably be looking at putting mono propellant down here. Yeah. And up the top here. So would you do another, would you do another tank? Because even funnier is we did have 
there ought to be left over. So that option. And I can grab these in two by because we only need the two. That's going to be fairly heavy. Okay. Well, let's um, sure, why not? I mean, it'll give us the power that we're chasing, and it'll give us a couple of fuel tanks for storage um, why not build fairing oh, no not build fairing there delete build let's come out and up. Go in just a bit. There we go. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, power truss and fuel. Well, let's uh, let's exit that. Should be interesting. I have no idea if this is actually going to get into get into space, let alone orbit and dock. Let's fast forward to about day two. Hercules 5, batteries charged, okay. What's the Hercules 5? It's orbit around the Mun. Uh, it's just a... Uh, yeah, okay. Nothing really too significant. That's what I'm here to fix, so heck, why not? Let's launch Titania 4. Because I do have a couple of Kerbals in there, actually, um, that I want to keep an eye on. I don't want them to get... I don't want them to die, so getting them power is important. Oddly enough, what I should have probably put on there is batteries. Because then it would have made sense to chuck a few batteries on there as well, since we're... Right. Worry about that at a later stage. Let's have a look at where we are. Scheme of things, nope, stations, Kikaran station. Not too bad. Just passed it, so we'll go another day. Two seventy seven. That look. SAS on, throttle off. Well, let's actually get the craft up. It's going to be close. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be slightly. It's 
slightly behind the craft, further back than I'd like, so we need to make sure that we can actually rendezvous without having to do an excessive burn. So far so good. I'm really curious to know how stable that that payload is going to be. That I believe is going to be a problem. That I really do believe is going to be a significant issue. Uh, let's get rid of those. Because I wonder if it's a case of they don't have enough electricity. Being generated during the day, or they can't store enough electricity. Because if it's they can't store enough electricity, this is not going to fix a thing. as we pass Mach 1.2 thrust to weight ratio nearly 2 not too bad it's an unmanned craft we can just once we get out of the, uh, the soup of the atmosphere we can just punch this as hard as we want Which is about here. Okay, so we're going to get to about 105 kilometers in, we'll get our apoapsis to about there and we will hold it there as we, might even drop it at 100 just because getting that, as we burnt late. That rendezvous is going to be a little bit difficult, so if I have the apoapsis a little bit earlier, it'll make it easier. I think. Maybe. Just maybe. So we'll start decelerating. See the engine stop, but I still get some residual thrust coming out, which is just something I need to be sort of taken into consideration. So let's get rid of those ridiculous fairings. And fall away. So let's have a look at where this puts us now. Let's do a burn. Yeah, okay, that's good. So ordinarily, because I, I would normally burn at 
phase angle of 311 and I was just a touch late. I'm going to pull the apoapsis a little bit shorter than normal so that we can get Nice rendezvous, so two kilometers, that's okay. We can adjust from there. Let's be very careful with our monopropellant uh, because we're going to need it for docking because this is a large, unwieldy craft. Um, okay. Just time accelerate a little bit, and I'm going to keep this stage for as long as possible. I'm just going to burn now, just so I can get the benefit of the gimbling. I'm going to burn it just under a third, and we'll let that go until our Periapsis is around about 50 kilometers, and then we'll release this stage, which will let it deorbit, and it will still give us the uh, the most use out of it. There will still be a couple of hundred meters delta V in the tank, that's fine. We should have plenty of fuel to with this remaining stage. I probably should have emptied the fuel tanks. Because I wanted them to be available for use, not just full. Got a bit better at putting batteries on nitrogen on there. So be it. Just ever so gently burning to keep. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get rid of that stage. Edge the terrier and pretty much go hell for leather. And I think we may be in a world of hurt. We may have stuffed up our burn a lot by burning too early. Uh, how are we going here? Just keep an eye on it. Nope, nope, nope. So far, so good. Ten meters, five meters. Okay, so we're about four meters apart. So, uh, for, for the, the five kilometers apart, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll adjust our inclination. That'll put us to within three. And a couple of minor adjustments, and that'll put us within a hundred. That's all right. That's okay. We can do that. Still worried. Don't understand why it's depleted. It should be in the sun now. It shouldn't be depleted at all. I'm wondering if there's some weird oddity going on there because it's in the sun. Should not be depleting. Okay, so let's time warp now. Five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. 34 seconds. CO2 level in internal atmosphere 5. That's dropped. Don't know why that's gone down. So we'll have electric charge, but. Oh, we're coming for you guys. We'll get to you. Don't you worry. Burn it. Half throttle. Up 
the uh, map view just so we can keep an eye on it. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Not a bit in uh, separation. Now let's just enjoy the ride. And worry, we should see them crossing below us and rising up to meet us basically. Uh, they should be here somewhere. There they are. Let's line up target retrograde. So how quickly is our rendezvous going to be? 100 meters per second, right? So it's going to be a fairly swift, fairly quick. That number's rising. I see now it's got electric charge. I wonder whether it's a physics distance or so. I don't know. Something interesting. Okay, so. So we'll get within. So if I'm reading better burn time correctly, then it's a 14 second burn full throttle to reduce our relative. I'm actually just going to make that a half burn, make it 28 seconds. Actually, a little bit worried now. Let's uh, let's increase the burn strength to maximum because we're getting awful close. We are going to miss if we if something goes wrong. Really wrong. But uh, yeah, I'd like to stop now. Relative, thank you. Really would. Okay, so we'll bring it down a bit. That's better. Okay, so three meters per second. That's fine. It's not really. Um, Let's look at using RCS to line ourselves up. So now we're going to be heading towards the target. So let's line up target prograde. Let's control from here. This will uh, this will really change how control is perceived. Now I guess probably want. That one I'm thinking to be my docking target because that's opposite the it's opposite it's directly connect to Okay, so it's directly connected to um Yeah, I'm okay with that. Really just wanna get just wanna hit I'm not gonna get it. And we're getting awful close, so let's uh slow ourselves down. Because I need to hit select which docking port I want to aim for and it's actually that one right there so let's just pop on up here not sure how the guys are going to go with the uh, fuel tanks right next to them but they'll manage I think we push using this, don't we? A bit far away. Our target, let's just... Physics wall. It's getting there. Ever so slowly, it's getting there.
Yeah, there we go, that looks okay. Let's turn all the lights on. Yep. Should be okay. That'll be... Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm worried about clipping though. No, we should be okay. Just gently, I mean, we're still a distance away. Not gonna rush this. So yeah, we're gonna have the, uh, basically the auto crew cabin right next to the explosives, explosive fuels. That'll be fine. This will be fine. Okay, so now we're pretty much on target. Do that, turn RCS off. Just actually turn RCN on a little, RCS on a little bit to accelerate a touch. And again, I mean, this is this section is just a lot of fuel. Should pretty much be spot on. Aim camera, I don't know what's going on here. Is that gonna have trouble docking so we can just turn a bit? Let the magnets pull it in. There we go. Docked. Easy. So Gagarin stations recharged back online, so I think it's there's, I mean, we've got... There's a thousand battery there. 200 there. 100. So that's... Ah, uh, see, that's actually going to be all of the... Well, still. And I'm still losing it. I mean, I'm not gaining it very quickly at all. So, uh, yeah, no, the solar panels have opened. Okay, so they opened up successfully. Ah, there we go. See, that's nearly, that certainly increased the level of, uh, that's certainly done better. Oh, uh, yep, thank you. Yeah, that should. I've disabled the lab, I've stopped all the pressure control and everything. You should be enabled, yes. These guys should be enabled, yep. All that looks good. Oh wow, only half of them opened. This could take a moment, okay. I guess when I um... I guess when I selected them it didn't Do the rest of them. Oh, when I copied the part, it didn't do them all. So, okay, then we can do that, and then we can do that, and do that, and then I can press 1 again. It will keep all the experiments. And yeah, now we can see that my electric charge is, yeah, is much better. Okay, and I mean, I can even separate. Can I separate that at that joint? No, I can't. It's not a separate. Okay. But I can move the, uh, separate the fuel tanks around. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that at this stage though. That should be fine. So how am I looking? Yeah, okay, so that'll be fine. Well, looking at if I enable 
all the scrubbers or it's not going to make a difference is it I actually think that's probably dangerous what happened because I believe that 6% is the limit for where they are I have issues <laughs> But okay, so that should be good to go for now. So now we've got plenty of fuel tanks. Uh, so we can actually... Yeah, plenty of fuel tanks. We should have plenty of power now. Um, it's probably time to do a crew rotation uh, and look at... Do a crew rotation look at getting some tie and assists up here. So plenty of supplies... Just seeing if it'll actually tell me food, perpetu perpetual food, I think that was right. I think we've got a few days worth of supplies left. Yeah, so we'll look at, um, oh that shot, the food was in here. Waste, waste water, food, water, so we'll probably look at bringing up some supplies of some new Kerbals, some new Nitrogen, we'll do a swap over, we'll get a couple of scientists in there and and look at getting uh, getting some, some resupply missions together. So, alright, thank you very much for watching, I will leave this episode here, it's gone a little bit over time, so thank you for, for sticking through and I will look forward to speaking to you again next time. Thanks for watching, bye for now.